Once upon a time, in the quaint little town of Evergreen, there lived a group of curious ten-year-old friends named Lily, Oliver, and Max. Evergreen was known for its enchanting winters, and the most magical event of the year was the Christmas Eve celebration. The children eagerly awaited the festivities, especially the grand tree lighting ceremony in the town square. This particular year, a mysterious visitor arrived in Evergreen. His name was Mr. Tinselto, and he was an eccentric toy maker with a long silver beard that seemed to sparkle like freshly fallen snow. Mr. Tinselto had set up a special toy shop just outside the town, filled with whimsical creations that captured the imagination of every child who wandered in. The shop was open only during the holiday season, and the children couldn't resist the allure of its twinkling lights and the promise of magical toys. Lily, Oliver, and Max had heard rumors about Mr. Tinselto's shop and decided to investigate. One chilly afternoon, they bundled up in their warmest scarves and set out on an adventure. The town's festive decorations lit up the cobblestone streets as they made their way to the outskirts, where Mr. Tinselto's shop stood like a beacon of wonder. Upon entering the shop, the children were greeted by the sweet scent of gingerbread and the soft melody of a mysterious tune playing in the background. Shelves were lined with enchanting toys, talking dolls, wind-up trains that circled miniature villages, and magical snow globes that seemed to transport you to a winter wonderland. Mr. Tinselto, with his twinkling eyes, welcomed the children and explained that each toy in his shop held a special secret. These toys are not just for play, he said. They are the keepers of the Christmas spirit. But beware, for not everyone understands their magic. Intrigued by the old toy maker's words, the friends spent hours exploring the shop, each selecting a toy that spoke to their hearts. Lily chose a beautiful music box that played a hauntingly beautiful melody. Oliver picked a mischievous-looking nutcracker that winked whenever someone passed by, and Max decided on a magical snow globe that revealed glimpses of the future. As the children left the shop, Mr. Tinselto warned them to keep their toys safe and to share the magic of Christmas with those who needed it the most. Little did they know that their adventure was just beginning. On Christmas Eve, the town square was bustling with excitement. The grand tree, adorned with sparkling lights and shimmering ornaments, stood tall in the center. Families gathered around, eagerly awaiting the moment when the mayor would flip the switch, illuminating the town with the warm glow of Christmas spirit. Lily, Oliver, and Max were there with their magical toys enjoying the festivities. As the clock struck midnight, signaling the arrival of Christmas Day, a sudden chill swept through the air. The lights on the grand tree flickered and a hush fell over the crowd. The once joyful atmosphere now felt tinged with uncertainty. In the distance, the children noticed a shadowy figure sneaking away from the town square. It was the mayor holding a sack filled with stolen ornaments and lights. The friends exchanged worried glances, realizing that the mayor had taken the very essence of Christmas from the town. Determined to save Christmas, Lily, Oliver, and Max followed the mayor through the snowy streets. They tiptoed through the quiet town, the only sound being the crunching of snow beneath their boots. The stolen ornaments jingled in the mayor's sack, betraying his every move. As the children approached the outskirts of town, they found themselves in front of Mr. Tinselto's shop. The toy maker appeared at the door, his eyes filled with wisdom and kindness. He nodded knowingly, acknowledging the children's bravery. With a wave of his hand, Mr. Tinselto transformed the stolen ornaments into magical birds that filled the air with a symphony of joy. The mayor, realizing the error of his ways, was overcome with remorse. The children forgave him, knowing that Christmas had the power to mend even the coldest of hearts. Together, the townspeople and the children